Alright guys, here's our uh, 300 blackout subsonic at uh, 50 yards and there's the grouping that we held. So uh, pretty tight grouping from the 300 blackout. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to keep moving on uh, through the rest of the, uh, the calibers and cartridges. Alright guys, we just got done with the 277 Wolverine at uh, 50 yards with subsonic ammo and you can see that it held an extremely tight grouping. Um, but as you can also see there's a rip in the paper which may suggest that one of them might have actually uh, uh, flipped. But uh, I don't see it holding that tight of a grouping if one of them did. But it holds just a little bit better than a 300 blackout so far, so uh, not that much better, but 50 yards sound pretty good. Uh, I found it to be uh, a little bit quieter than 300 blackout, but not much. So a little bit better grouping uh, than 300 blackout and a little bit quieter. Uh, still, uh, both of them done real well at 50 yards, so we'll move on to the next one. Okay guys, as you can see, here's the grouping that we held with the 6.8 SPC on uh, subsonic ammo there. Um, it didn't hold as good as grouping as the uh, 300 Blackout or the 277 Wolverine. You can see right there, I'd started to put uh, my little tag on there without videoing, but uh, uh, getting ready for the next one. But anyways, uh, it's not a bad grouping, it's not a great grouping. But um, it definitely isn't as accurate as the Wolverine or the uh, 300 Blackout at 50 yards with subsonic ammo, ammo anyways. Um, it's non-cycling, so uh, it's going to be quieter. So that doesn't count at all just, just because on that factor alone. So um, we'll just keep moving along. Okay guys, there's our grouping with the 308 subsonic at 50 yards. Um, it done about the same as the 6.8. Um, still not a very bad grouping, but not, not a very good one either uh, at 50 yards. Um, it's much quieter than even all three, but that doesn't count again. It's non-cycling and that was out of a bolt action. So uh, we'll just keep moving on to the uh, 223 now. Alright guys, here's our uh, three shot grouping at 50 yards with a 223 subsonic, alright? Uh, looks like it held just a bit, bit bigger six, than the 6.8 and the uh, 308 subsonics, but uh, not much, not much. Um, I figured that it's a little bit louder than the rest. That is cycling uh, 223 subsonic, which is kind of rare. And uh, I'm able to actually shoot it out of a 1 and 9 twist, which is also rare. So, um, a 16 inch barrel. So, it's going to be a little bit louder than the rest anyways. Um, but it didn't hold as good as grouping. So, basically on the groupings thus far, kind of like the 277 Wolverine seemed to hold a little bit tighter. Uh, then the 300 Blackout. Uh, and then the 308 and the 6.8 held about the same, uh, which was quite a bit bigger than the 300 Blackout and 277 Wolverine. And the 223 Subsonic held just a little bit more than the 308 and 6.8. So uh, we'll move on to uh, shooting the watermelons.
right, guys, here's what the 308 done in the, in the uh, entry. Here's the exit. You can see it just blew it completely apart. All right, so a lot more damage done. 308 subsonic than the 223. Uh, that's actually a lot of damage. So for a subsonic, that done real well. Move on. Guys, here you can see the entry hole from the 6.8 SBC subsonic. Right back here, you can see the exit hole. So quite a bit of damage in the exit. Uh, not as much as the 308 subsonic, but quite a bit more than the 223 subsonic. So that's what the 6.8 done right there. Moving on. Alright guys, we got done with the 277 Wheel Marine uh, using subsonic. You can see the damage that it done to the uh, watermelon. Just completely blew it in half. So, so far it's done better than all the rest of the uh, cartridges uh, with subsonic. guys, this is what the 300 blackout done on an entry hole. Alright, 50 yards subsonic, and then right here is its exit. Alright, so, uh, done a little better than the 223. Actually, if you see the way it wallowed everything out, it's done real good right there. Kind of, uh, just keeps expanding as it goes on. Done, done, done pretty good. Alright guys, so, here are the watermelons the, from the five different uh, cartridges we shot. All right, and uh, the damage that they've done. Uh, your first one on the right is the 300 Blackout Subsonic. All right, your next one is the 277 Wolverine Subsonic. The next one after that is the 6.8 SBC Subsonic. The 308 Subsonic and the 223 Subsonic, all right? And it looks like to me that the most damage to the watermelons done by the 277 Wolverine. Uh, but I like the way that the 6.8 blew out the backside. And I also like how the 300 blackout uh, just continued to span on as time went on, uh, as it continued on. So uh, obviously the 308 uh, blew its, its part in, in half. And uh, 223. Didn't do bad for subsonic, but uh, not near as much damage as the 